Lewis structure of methyl fluoride or fluoromethane. I don't care what you call it. I care that you can draw it. You're going to need to know how many valence electrons each atom brings. Carbon, group 14, brings four valence electrons. Hydrogen, group 1, brings one valence electron each. And fluorine, as a halogen, brings seven. It's in group 17. That's your hint. So four for carbon, three ones for each of the hydrogens, and an extra seven for the fluorine. That totals 14 valence electrons. I'm going to put my carbon in the center. I like putting the element that can make the most bonds as the central atom. And then I surround it with the others. That's three H's and an F. Okay. I single bond all those personally because if they weren't held together with a bond, it wouldn't be a molecule. And I've already put down eight electrons just to hold this thing together. I use the rest of the electrons, but I don't go over my limit to complete the octet on outer atoms and then maybe the central atom. We'll see what happens. Hydrogens are happy with just the two electrons and the single bond. Those are taken care of. Fluorine is a strict adherent to the octet rule. You have to have eight electrons around it. So I've already done eight, but this fluorine gets 10, 12, 13th and 14th electrons. That's it, I'm out, I can't do any more here. But luckily that was enough. Fluorine has eight electrons around it, six in these lone pairs and two in the bond. Carbon's octet rule is also satisfied because he has two, four, six, eight electrons in these bonds. That's it, we're done. Super easy, I hope you found it that way. Best of luck in whatever you're drawing next. Peace.